Howdy everybody, Michael Mass here. Welcome back, I'm back, you're back, we're back. We're back in the Magic Kingdom for, if I don't say it, like I, like I should be just penalized, for the first time in forever, back at the Magic Kingdom. Wow, 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 I'm so happy, 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 happy to be here. Let's get inside and talk a little bit more. Please stand clear of the door. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. That was a rather quick intro to get in here, and I, w I just wanted to get inside. I really wanted to get inside. Wanted to see Magic Kingdom for the first time since, like, wow, I don't know how long it's been. It's been at least since March, and I think it's been since, like, January for me since I've been into the Magic Kingdom. So, wow. I'm back, and there's nobody here. Like, this seems like nobody to me. Like, I'm so used to so many more people being in the Magic Kingdom that this absolutely feels like nobody. A couple quick observations off the top here. It does look like the Starbucks line never ends. It is well down here around the corner, uh, but it also could be, they're all six foot out. So it's definitely a long Starbucks line in the morning. Second observation is I asked them about a mask that I have that has three layers to it, but it has a valve. And they told me, not at the moment. They're looking into it more. And it just kind of surprised me. I understood the whole valve thing, but I thought that was when the valve was one layer from your face and my valve was three. So, I guess I can't wear my favorite mask pretty much at this point. Good thing I brought it back up. And Casey's is still closed. It's kind of sad. So let's go ride some rides and have some fun, guys. up I was fully expecting to say some things never change but a 25 minute wait for the mine train at just 25 minutes after road drop is a bargain and uh, we're definitely gonna check the time out and see how long it actually takes but with all the six foot distancing where the line would normally be for about an hour and a half it is only 25 minutes <music> On and off in about 25 minutes guys 28 minutes to be exact but that would be a 25 minute wait to get on mine train pretty incredible as you can see behind me though look this place this place is empty today it's just the capacity they're keeping the park at is really low so for someone who comes all the time and knows how full the parks get right now is ridiculously ridiculously empty and if you can't tell by the video so far well, I mean, we've only rode one ride. We're gonna see how much I can do today before either time runs out or I run out, meaning that I'm tired of wearing a mask and I'm ready to go home. So we've already done mine train. We are headed to the second longest average wait time in the park. And that is Peter Pan.
like 10 30 10 40 ish right in that range uh, which means I've been in the park about an hour and 10 minutes right now I got in about 9 20 9 30 area uh, hit that first ride at um, seven doors at 9 40 five minute wait seriously it was a walk on five minute wait for Peter Pan never has happened like that this late in the park day usually by like 10 o'clock that, that queue is an hour long also just walked on to haunted mansion as well so walk on walk on on two two moderately busy rides for this time of day one thing i will talk about before we head into frontier land and that is the fact that all of the interactivity of the rides like seven dwarfs and the and peter pan even with haunted mansion there the interactive things that are in the queues not not happening at the moment uh, obviously understandable because you're going to be getting people touching things and spreading more germs and things like that. So those cues, the interactiveness of the queue is completely gone. We are going to head to Frontierland, maybe Adventureland. I don't know. I'm going to check some cues, but the cues have not been long today. So, so let's go ride some more rides. Well, welcome aboard the world famous Jungle Cruise, where we are world famous for being famous around the world. My name is Skipper Madison, and we begin our journey today in the Amazon rainforest. We're raised 365 days a year. Now you know, it's almost every other day. Yeah, I am super good at geometry. Over here is Inspiration Falls. It's called Inspiration Falls because it inspires people to go deeper and deeper into the jungle, that is. <laughs> There's no feathers. Oh. I hired these guys to help me break down my camp, but it looks like they broke in just about everything I own. <laughs> this is our sandstone rock formation. A lot of people take it for granted, but personally, I think it rocks. It's really one of our bolder attractions. I can just marvel at it for hours. Now, well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for the eighth wonder of the world, the backside of water! Great. I'm a head trader, Sam. He is the head salesman of the jungle. Now, unfortunately, his sales have been shrinking lately, so he's got a really great deal for you folks. Two of his heads for one of yours. Anyway, a slice it or dice that you do come out ahead. Well, I've been here for almost three hours now. It's the first time that I've seen a relaxation station right back here. Uh, Splash Mountain and Big Thunder are next up on the schedule. Pirates was like a 25 instead of a 45 minute wait. And last but not least, Jungle Cruise was probably the full 35 minutes there. But let's get to my favorite right here with a little bit of Splash Mountain. Oh my. 
things inside the train and be sure to watch your kids. If any of you folks are wearing hats or glasses, best remove them, because this here's the wildest ride in the wilderness. So I stopped into the relaxation station. As you can see, I've taken off the mask, I've taken off the hat for a moment uh, as I'm just like now pouring sweat because of that. So, but I also stopped into Pecos Bill, picked up a large ice water. I'm gonna get hydrated really quickly and then continue on. The 50 minute wait for Big Thunder was not a 50 minute wait. It was literally, it was almost a walk on. I waited for one train and then went. When I got off, it said 20 minutes on the wait. So. The wait time hadn't been adjusted, and that's the case. And if you hear behind me, this is the announcements that they're making all the time. Face, face mask all the time. Clean your hands all the time. Unless you're eating or drinking, which I'm doing right now. And uh, I'm in a, like I said, I'm in a rest area right now. So I'm going to enjoy that. Have you been here since, since the parks have opened? What is your thoughts on everything that's going on? I think Disney's doing a great job. We're trying to keep this as as clean and as friendly as possible and trying to keep the magic at the same time. Uh, as I walked over here, uh, I saw the, like the kind of the, 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 I don't know, shake it dance parade thing that would normally would just be in the town square, but now it's just a quick parade through the parks. Uh, I saw Goofy and, and some of the characters there. First time I'd seen some characters today, so that was nice. Guys, I am going to take a quick break and then we're gonna go ride some more rides. How about that? another hour down and three more rides every one of them was a walk-on uh, it was a 20 minute wait for uh, what Little Mermaid but it walked on five minute wait ten minute wait for Dumbo walk on and just finished up with goofy sky coaster I think that's what it is sky training sky coaster sky something tell me down in the comments if you know the name because I cannot remember which one it is but just finished up with that and I think I'm headed down a dead end right now because we can't go this way. So we can't head this way right now, but I was going to show you the Tron, the Tron construction going on right over here. I should say Tron, maybe not the Tron or a Tron, but Tron, just Tron. The construction's going on over here. I was going to cut through there to go to, uh, 
to Tomorrowland, but we're gonna walk the long way. I think that is gonna call it a day. I think I'm calling it a day. I think I'm calling it a day. How about that? That's what's going on right now is I'm a little bit, have a little bit of a heat exhaustion going on and I don't think it's really from the mask. I think it's from the Florida sun uh, because it's 100 degrees out here and I am exhausted still. Look at this. Look at this. Nobody, nobody, <laughs> nobody's here guys. Nobody's here. They definitely kept the attendance down quite a bit. I think I only had like five or six rides left. I'm not gonna name them for sake of time, but if you can name a ride that I haven't rode, please put it down there besides Space Mountain because it was a 10 minute wait. I should have rode it, but I'm not doing another roller coaster if I'm not feeling well right now. So time to get out of here, time to go eat. I just drank four glasses of water. So hopefully that helps with the, the um, exhaustion and I don't dehydrate myself there. How about this? How about you? We haven't even talked about this. What do you think of the new castle? Do you like the old castle better or do you like the new castle with all of that? I don't know. I've got to look at it for a second here. I think I like the old castle better. I don't know. It's going to take a little bit to get used to for me uh, as I definitely am used to the the lighter colors, the less distinct colors, I guess you could say there. But let me know down in the comments what you think of the castle. Which of the rides that I missed? Are any of the rides that I missed your favorite? How about that? Did I miss one of your favorite rides? Let me know the rides that I missed down in the comments if you got a second. And let me know about the rides that I did ride. Which one is your favorite? Because I almost got everything done here in a day. Do I think you can, do I think it, the ticket is worth it? For a single day, yes, you can do everything here, and there's nobody here. There's nobody in the park. Only once did I wait in line more than 30 minutes, and almost everything else was a walk-on. Almost everything else was a walk-on. That is pretty nice. Um, the AP side of things, that's a whole nother story. We'll talk about that later. But it looks like I'm keeping my AP, so as I'm about to make my way down Main Street, USA. guys. There's the eyes. I, it's too bright. I was gonna take the glasses off for a second. It is way too bright. Um, plus, I don't think I used any sun sun stuff today. So uh, wish me luck on that one. That I didn't get a sunburn. <laughs> well, guys, I am out of here. Uh, if this is your first time here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If this is your 1500th time here, hope you have those bells going because the notification bell down there. Because guess what? It'll let you know every time I'm here. And if you liked this video. Last but not least, big thumbs up. Until next time, guys, I am out of here. Thank you for your time. Here's to life. You thought we were done, didn't you? Well, guess what? We're not. I had one more thing to say to you. And monorail shot. No, that wasn't the one more thing. I know this question might come up. What day of the week? When did I come? I'm, on a, I'm here on a Monday. One. And today was the first day that Orange County was back in school. So, monorail shot, part two. But yeah, so today was the first day that Orange County back in school and it's a Monday. Maybe that's why they weren't so busy. I don't know, have you been? Has it been busy? Let me know in the comments as well. Guys, I'm gonna get out of here. Like, subscribe, ding, dong, subscriptions, all that good stuff. Till next time. Thank you for your time. For real this time, here's the life.